Good evening students. Today I am going to explain Witch's Laws short story. It was written by Ho Henry. It is for second year students. And uh, before that, uh, before we move on to the short story, we have to know about the author. Actually, Ho Henry was an American writer and his real name is William Sidney Porter. His pen name Ho Henry and he is very famous for short story. And some of his famous works are The Gift of the Magi, The Ransom of Red Chief. The story starts with Miss Martha Meacham and she owns her little bakery on the corner. She is 40 years old. Her savings is just $2,000 in a bank. And uh, then the author describes about her uh, character as well as appearance. And she has two false teeth. And she is very, very kind-hearted person. And one particular week, she sees a customer who is visiting her bakery two or three times. Gradually, she takes interest on him and he is a middle-aged man. He wears spectacles and has trimmed brown beard. He speaks English in German accent and his dress is not neat, but his manner is very, very neat. And whenever he comes to bakery, it is only for two loaves of stale bread, old or not fresh bread. The cost of fresh bread is five cents a loaf. Stale one is two for five. He always shows interest to buy stale bread. One day Miss Martha happens to see a red and brown stain on his fingers. So she comes to the conclusion that the customer is an artist. She also believes that the man is poor and lives in a garret. And uh, she further uh, thinks that he paints pictures and eats only stale bread. Whenever she eats her tasty food, and she always thinks about him and his good manners. And she is very kind-hearted person, no? So that's why she is always uh, uh, very much interested on him. And uh, she always thinks about him. And uh, she wants to confirm whether the customer is an artist or not. So she buys a painting and fixes it near the bread counter. The painting is a Venetian scene. And definitely that particular uh, painting will attract any painter. The same customer comes after two days and asks two loaves of stale bread. And he tells her in German accent that the painting looks very fine. Immediately she replies she always admires art and paintings. When she asks him whether he likes the picture he didn't tell anything and he takes his bread and leaves. So she believes strongly that he is an artist. But he always buys stale bread never pie or sally. She feels that he is becoming thinner because of lack of nutritious food. So one day Miss Martha uh, wears a blue dotted silk uh, dress because she wants to attract him. And she cooks a mysterious compound uh, queen seeds and borax because it is good for complexion. One day the same customer comes for stale bread but Miss Martha keeps a fresh butter in between the stale loaves and gives to him. But the artist does not know this and she imagines how he will enjoy the fresh butter surprisingly after his painting work. Suddenly the outside bell rings, someone is shouting outside. Two men are standing there, one man with a smoking pipe, the other man is her favorite customer. The young man is shouting at Miss Martha. Then, the, then he narrates what actually happened. He introduces the customer, Blumberger, an architectural draftman. Both of them are working in the same office. The customer had been working hard for three months for a drawing plan for a new city hall. It was actually a prize competition. He completed almost yesterday. He used to draw initially with pencil first. Afterwards, he used to erase it with stale bread crumbs, which is better than Indian rubber. But the plan was completely spoiled because of the fresh butter which was in between two stale bread loaves. Miss Martha is completely shocked and she quietly comes into back room and removes her blue dotted silk vest and wears a roll brown shirt and then she pours out the twin seed and borax mixture out of the window into the ash can. In this way the story has been ended. So what's the theme of this short story? Loneliness of Martha, frustration and looks made deceptive and last one is imagination. I just want to thank all the website uh, because I have taken the images from this website. Thank you students. Th thank you for listening and thank you for watching.